Hey guys, welcome to the next video on Python tutorial for beginners. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use mathematical operators and how to do basic math in Python. So first of all, we will open the idle IDE. So just search for uh, Python once again. I have shown you this method in the last video also. So just search for the Python once again. And in the last video, I have shown you how to install Python. And with the Python installation, this idle is also installed, right? So we are going to open this idle IDE. Now, some of you who are familiar with Python and have some experience with Python may think that why am I using this Python idle IDE? Because there are many better IDEs and editors available for the development of Python. So don't worry, I'm going to show you everything, how to install other IDEs, which are preferred in the development of Python step by step. But for now, we will start with this idle IDE. So the first thing which I want to do here is I want to increase the font size, first of all, in the idle IDE, because this may be not visible to some of you. You can change the font size by just changing this number and I'm going to change it to, for example, 18 and bold. So we will be able to see our uh, fonts in a better way. So now everything is set. So let's get started with the programming. So let's start with the basic math operations. So let's say I want to add something. So I can uh, just write number plus, which is a operator and the other number and then press enter and you will get the result of this expression. Now let's try the subtraction. So let's say I want to subtract 60 minus 50 and then press enter and it gives the result. Let's do the negative uh, subtraction. So I'm going to just write 60 plus 50 and then press enter and it's going to return me the negative value. Now let's do the division. So for example, I want to divide 50 by 3. I'm going to press enter and you can see it gives me a float value or a decimal value. And if you are familiar with other languages like Java or C++, this may appear a little bit strange to you because when you do the same operation in Java or C++ with this division operator, you will get the different answer, which is 16 and not these decimal float value. So if you want to just get an integer value and not the decimal value out of the division, then you can write this expression, which is 50 double forward slash three. Okay, and then press enter. And now you get 16, which is a whole number or an integer. This type of division is also called the floor division in which you get the whole number as the answer and the decimal value is truncated out of your answer. So if you want to get the exact value out of the division in decimal values also, then you can use uh, this expression, which is single forward slash operator. And if you want to do the floor division, then use these two forward slash symbols. Now it's also possible to divide two decimal values. So decimal values in Python and most of the other languages are called the float values. So here, instead of 50, I can just write 50.0 divided by 3.0, which is also valid. Or I can write 50.0 divided by 10 and then press enter, which gives me 5.0. And when I write the integer, which is 50 divided by 10, it will also give me this value, which is 5.0. Now let's try some multiplication. So if you want to do multiplication in Python, you use a number and then this asterisk symbol, and then second number, and then press enter. And this is going to multiply these two numbers. So this is, the multiplication operator, which we can use to multiply two numbers. Now, this is what we are doing here is, for example, uh, multiplying two numbers or dividing two numbers or addition of two numbers or subtraction of two numbers. In Python, it's called expression. Okay, so 50 multiplied by 10 
is an expression and I have already told you that these symbols for multiplication or division are called operators. Now the number on which you are doing these mathematical operations are called operands. So 50 here is an operand, 10 here is an operand or 3 here is operand and 50 here is operand. Now here 50 and 10 are also called literals because they are constant values. So what we have learned till now, this is an expression. This is an expression or 50 divided by 3 is an expression. The number on which you operate on are called operands and these symbols which you can use to multiply, divide, add or uh, subtract are called operators and these numbers are also called literals when they are constants. Now let's try some modulo operations. So for example, I'm going to just write 10 modulus 3 here what it's going to give us is the remainder of the division of these two values. So 3 multiplied by 3 is 9 which leaves the remainder 1 and that's the result we are getting. Okay, let's try it once again. So for example, I will divide 21 divided by 5. It will give me the answer 4.2 but when I do 21 modulo 5 and then press enter it's going to give me the remainder of the division of two values. Now there is an another interesting operator which is called exponent operator which you can use for the exponent values. So for example, I want to get the result of 2 to the power 5. How can I do it? So I can just write 2 and then double asterisk and then 5 which means 2 to the power 5 and then when I press enter it's going to give me 32 or I can just write 10 and then I can just write double asterisk and then uh, for example 10 once again and then press enter. It's going to give me the result of 10 to the power 10. Now it's also possible to do these mathematical operations on more than one number. So for example, I can write 5 plus 5 plus 6 plus 9 and it will give me the result of the addition of these four numbers. And it's also possible to use different type of operator in one expression. So I can write 5 plus 9 minus 6 multiplied by 10 for example and it's going to give me the result of this expression. Now there is one question which may arise here is for example uh, once again I'm going to do 5 plus 9 minus 6 multiplied by 10 and divided by 20 and press enter here. It's going to give me this value but how this value is calculated? What operation is executed first? Is the multiplication is done first or is the division done first or the addition took place first or the subtraction took place first? So I have this table and here you can see the precedence of these operators. So in this table, highest precedence is at top and lowest is at bottom. That means parentheses have the highest priority and then the exponents have the priority and then the multiplication and division operators have the same priority here. And at last, the subtraction and addition have the same priority. But whenever you use these operators which are in the same box in a same expression, then whatever operator you use on the left have the highest priority and whatever operator you use on the right have the lower priority. So in this table parentheses have the highest priority and the addition and the subtraction have the lowest priority. And for example, if you use multiplication and division in the same expression, then the priority is decided which operator is appearing on the left. So if the operator is appearing on the left, it has the highest priority than the operator which are on the right side. So let's take an example of that. So for example, So first the addition of these two numbers will happen 
and then the division of these two numbers will happen because parentheses have the highest priority and then the result of these two numbers will be multiplied by 6 because multiplication have the highest priority out of these two operators which are minus and multiply so multiplication operator have the highest priority and at the end the subtraction of the result will take place so let's press enter and let's see what's the result so the result here is 11 and how we get this result here so 5 plus 9 is 14 and the division of these two number is 1 by 2 so 6 will be divided by 2 which is 3 and then at last 3 will be subtracted from this result which is 14 which will give you 11 once again for example you use uh, 60 multiplied by 20 divided by 30 and then press enter it will give you 40 but in which order this calculation will happen first of all this multiplication will take place because in the table we have seen that multiplication operator and division operator have the same priority and that's why the priority will be decided from left to right now if you want to learn the order of precedence between the operators then you can use this keyword which is PEMDAS. P stands for parenthesis, E stands for exponents, M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, A stands for addition and S stands for subtraction. Okay, So you can either remember this name which is PEMDAS or you can use this sentence which I have written here. So please excuse my dear Aunt Sally and you need to remember the first letter of each word here. And the first letter of every word for example P here stands for parenthesis, E here stands for exponent, M and D here stands for multiplication and division, A and S here stands for addition and subtraction. So for remembering, you can either use this sentence or you can remember this keyword. So that's it for this video. I hope you have learned something new in this video. And please keep watching these videos and see you in the next video.